baseball. As many people continue to try and maintain their New Year's resolutions to lose weight, we're going one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Stephen Ostroud of Vitality Health here to see if keto is right for you. Thank you again for being here. A lot of information to get to. Yes. Uh, so yeah, really quickly, you know, what is keto? What are we looking at here? Yeah. Keto is a strategy. Mm -hmm. It's a strategy from a medical perspective, from a natural perspective, to reduce inflammation in the body. Yeah. Because we know that inflammation is connected to almost every disease. Mm -hmm. So we take that keto approach and we try to apply it not only to our lifestyle, but to using it to heal the body. Really? Okay. So we start off with, this is a lunch, mm -hmm. and it, it's a doable lunch. It's, we don't have to be exotic. Mm -hmm. These are traditional foods, but we have a salad and it's got some salmon in it. And you'll notice that there's gonna be a theme here. Okay. Salmon is omega-3. Yeah. There's avocado, that's your uh, uh, it's nine essential fatty acid. Okay. Then we transition to maybe a little snack at lunchtime and that's chia, which mm -hmm. is another omega-3. We could have some little fruit, but we wanna keep those fruits low because mm -hmm. the ketogenic diet is we're trying to prepare your body and teach your body how to burn fat. Okay. So if we have too many carbs or too many sugars, it takes you out of that zone because your body starts burning the sugar and the carbs. All right, That's Very not important. our goal. Yeah. Super important. And then there's our dinner entree, and that is actually chicken wrapped in some, some bacon there. Mm -hmm. And of course, we always have vegetables. Okay. We have the vegetables alkalize the body. If you're having too many meats, mm -hmm. that is more acidic. And people don't feel so good when they have so much of that acidity from just having meat. So we always want to balance out vegetables, vegetables, a few fruits, and make sure we have yes. omega, omega, omega. Yeah, and really interesting. We were talking about this too, that when people start doing keto, you go through what is called, I guess, a keto flu. A keto flu. What does that happen? And a lot of my patients experience this, and mm -hmm. it's metabolic inflexibility. Your metabolism isn't used to burning your own fat for energy. Okay. Think of this, it's like when we put away our lawnmowers and put them in the shed for the winter, mm -hmm. and in the spring we expect them just to start really quick and then yeah. we're on our way. No, we have to kind of prime them and pull them, you know, a whole bunch to get it going, and then it kind of sputters a little bit. Yeah. Our bodies, as Americans, we usually eat all day long. Mm -hmm. We never go into fat burning, but we were made to burn fat. So we got to kind of push our bodies through that experience. Yeah. It takes two or three days. Okay. Once you get through that keto flu, you're going to be feeling great. Okay, have to yeah. get through that. And have then also, really quickly, what do people do if they're not really big on vegetables? Yeah. And, and that will change because okay. our taste buds are so sensitized mm -hmm. to sugar. So in, when we have a little sugar, we want a little bit more, a little bit yeah. more, and then it takes a lot of sugar to taste good. Mm -hmm. Once you get through the first four to seven days on the okay. keto program, you will actually taste for the first time the mm -hmm. sweetness in those vegetables yeah. when before you were probably repelled by them mm -hmm. because you're used to having carbs and sugar. Yeah. It will happen if you give your body a chance. Mm -hmm. Naturally, your body will adapt to what it's supposed to feel. Yes. We're not supposed to feel sugar all day long yes, and taste yeah. it all day long. Think long term, the benefits here. And how can it's folks huge. get a hold of you? Well, we're in Portage, Michigan, Vitality Healthcare. You can reach us at our website, and uh, we want to help everybody. This, yeah. this is a trend in America. Over 40% of Americans are obese or overweight. Mm -hmm. It causes disease, and that's not okay. It's an epidemic. we yes. got to change it. Yeah, healing with food. It can happen. It can so, happen. All right. It will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Certainly do appreciate that.